check out these adventures. Hello, welcome to our Friday. It's our last full day in San Diego. And it is it's Friday, I was just making sure. It's Friday. <laughs> But we are going to tour the USS Midway today. Very excited. We walked up on it the other day, but didn't really have enough time, didn't have the right shoes on, that kind of stuff. But we are back, and there yeah. it is. Super stoked. You excited? Yeah. Yeah. Me too. It's huge. Walking on. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Like that we're on, huh? Yeah. Smells like a ship. Cool. Important phone call there? Hold on, I'm gonna call. <laughs> Mason, you on an important phone call? You hear it? It's an audio tour, so. This isn't the floor, they call it a deck. Yeah, it is a deck, you're right. So we got these little like foam things that we wear around our neck and then there's certain areas that we will connect to and then there, we can hear them talk about stuff. We're gonna go watch a 15 minute movie. I can hear it, it's going right now. Must have missed the first one. Yeah. Ready? What do you think of the movie? That was good. I'm glad we saw that first. Yeah, kind of gives you an understanding. Explained. Yeah, this wasn't. Uh, the ship is named after the battle at the Midway, so it's the USS Midway. So this didn't actually serve in World War II, but it serves in the Korean War and up until they said 1897. I thought he said. I think so. So yeah. now it's just the museum, but it was named after. Uh, Big U.S. victory, so. Yes. This thing, this one, is one more, or no? What? I take your picture. How do I get in? Do I step in? It's not going to take off. Your feet go down there. The other foot goes down there. Oh, yeah. Wait, if it freaking went out. Look at all of those dials. Okay. Oh. Tight quarters up in here. Wow. You're a handsome pilot. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> I know. I'm a co-pilot anyway. Okay, we'll put this over here, ready? Going down. Where's my food? Was it, does it look good, Mace? Mm. They actually ate pretty decent. Yeah? Yeah. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. 
There you go. You can do kids or adults. Can't be much taller than me. Yeah. <laughs> you said, um, you said everything that you put on your plate, you have to eat. Yep. yep. If you wanted seconds, you had to eat everything. Yep. So you go up for seconds, you have to eat everything. That's a good rule. Yeah. <coughs> oh, this is where they cooked everything. They also had to serve the food and they had to clean up after they were done. Okay, that's a lot of work. They were working in here, right? Now, this galley was hot messy. Oh, and I didn't tell you, we have seven. I guess they had to feed a lot of people on this. Good, wholesome food, and they also depended on oh. it, um, when they were hungry. So the galley workers made sacrifices in order to give um, the crew what they needed. And also the galley workers Beans. took pride in their work. They were very proud of working here. This wasn't like a punishment. Like, Chicken? Oh, like the galley they, they didn't have that oh, attitude. Yeah. They were positive. Oh, so the workers in here made a difference um, to others when they Bunch served this. Hot and delicious, yummy. Not bad, not bad, yeah, right? Could you eat in here? Uh, Maybe. Well, Maybe. Wow. Weapons over there. Missiles down there. It's their uniforms. Condiments. Yeah. First aid. This guy starts moving I'm running. <laughs> they are kind of creepy looking, huh? <laughs> Hello. Going down. They would have to carry their food down here? Selfie. This is where the officers ate. It's a little bit nicer down here, huh? They got like steak and crab down here. A little bit better food option down here. It's where they wash dishes. Wash some dishes, Mace? Hmm? You wanna wash some dishes? <laughs> I'll take some pie, sir. Sir. I want some apple pie. Yes. <laughs> POW got my hands, Miss. No. POW was prisoner of war. My hands, Miss, in the match. Oh. Anybody need a haircut? Where they would get their hairs trimmed, looking fresh. Computer room. What is that? It's like a computer room. Like a game room. Going 
come back up. This one's better. I want one with diamond chain. Mess hall. Going up to the flight deck? Nope. Going to the middle. This is the mess deck. All the sailors would eat here. Payday. Oh, they're getting paid. Sick deck's down here. Are you feeling sick? Gotta go to the sick deck. It's like a maze in here. I've gotten lost a few times. Mm -hmm. So if you're not feeling good, this is where you come. Okay. <laughs> Sitting there for rehabilitation. Aww. Poor guy's not feeling good. Must be the doctor. They had room for lots of sick people here. That's where they stored all the charts. They're sick. This is the surgery room. Some x rays, the surgery tools, doctors. Crazy that to think that we're on a ship and this guy's sitting here getting surgery. It's amazing. It is. Lab and pharmacy. Ooh, all the drugs. Pharmacist. Drugs that had to stay cold. The lab to see what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> And what's over here, the pharmacist? Yeah. Oh, yep. Very cool. This guy's waiting. <laughs> must have did something to his finger. This guy must have slipped on the rocks looking at sea lions like I did. Oh, yeah. Strained his ankle. ankle. X-ray room. X-ray room, yep, yep. So, anybody have a rotten tooth? Why are you looking at me? <laughs> Whoa. Sounds like they're working on them. If you have not brushed and flossed your teeth, do so now. <laughs> Aww. Somebody getting his tooth worked on over here? Yeah, watch his feet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know your pain. Dental work is no fun. <laughs> Post office. Yep. Main control and engine room. Where? Whoa. Down here. Watch L step. Keeping radios cool since 1945. Where are we going? The engine room. Holy moly! It's probably loud and hot in here when everything's this is cranking. Underwater too, like there's a water line over there. You can see that trap over there. 
Yeah. So we're underwater? Yeah, we're underwater right now. Whoa. And they have no idea if it's day or night because there's no windows down here. No, I'm sure, so yeah. They paid attention to the lights, the color of the lights, that way they know if it's day or night. <laughs> Interesting. That's the jail. <laughs> yeah. This dude's getting arrested. What did you do wrong? I don't know. There you go. Oh boy. <laughs> Anybody gotta go? They covered it so no one would use it. <laughs> they don't get a bag. There you go, base. You get in there? Oh, you can get in there. Go ahead, get in jail. I don't want to get arrested. Doesn't look very comfortable, huh? Oh, there I am. That's where you crash. If you're tired, just where you sleep. Is that what it is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Underneath your bed. So you sleep on top of all Put your stuff. Put all your stuff. Cigarettes. <laughs> and then you slop that down and go to bed. Looks comfortable, huh? Oh, yeah. You thought your pullout yeah. sofa was bad <laughs> at the hotel. Yep, go back up to the hangar deck. So, last. Is it the flight deck? Flight deck now. Yeah, thankfully. So we toured the inside, the bottoms of the ship. What's this? Emergency. Life raft. Yeah. This is all their food and water. Emergency, there's the life raft right there. Emergency blanket. These things probably float. Yeah. And then they pull all this stuff out to survive at sea. Wow. Should this thing go down. But we toured it. The middle, the bottom, now we're going to the top, the flight deck. It's awesome. Sick. Where are we going? The pilot ready rooms? Okay. For they probably get ready. I'm assuming. You're being watched. Right back at you. Caution. Entering fire country. This is where they come in to get their assignments. So these guys are sitting there ready to go do whatever this guy tells them they're gonna be doing. Star Warriors? This is when you're dressed, you're ready. Yeah. Flight deck. Top Gun. <laughs> Look straight down. <laughs> it's the water. <laughs> Walk through this thing.
Ooh, El Capitan. Is he in there? Okay, thanks for coming, folks. Okay. At the last second, the guy at the front told us to put our backpacks on the front to make it easier. I see why. I see why now. Doink. Uh, my name is Jim. I'm over your guide up here in the island today. I'm retired Navy and I'm going to let you know a little bit about this area that you're in. We call this Pry Fly. Young man, can you write backwards? Have you ever tried writing backwards? Because there's a young man standing behind that boy that's writing all the information on backwards. Wow. And the rate, you know. Go down. Okay, we'll just gather around these different chart tables here. Navigator's domain here. He likewise is a senior Navy commander. He's an aviator. And of course, uh, in his department here, he has about Going into the bridge now? birthplace of naval aviation in this country. Normally you would see one or two of our home ported nuclear aircraft carriers top over there. We have the Carl Benson CBN-70 and we have the Theodore Roosevelt CBN-70. And we need to pull that one. Yeah, no. And I guarantee you that sometime during a typical cruise you will do that once or twice. Okay. Anyone, really. Now, I am standing next to an instrument right here we call an engine order telegraph. Sometimes this is referred to as the Lee Helm. For obvious reasons, the person standing here operating this would be called a Lee Helmsman. Compare this, if you were to the game. <laughs> That's where the captain slept. There you go, good picture. Trivia's family. Yeah. Amazing how they can move these in the middle of the ocean. Like he said, back in the day it was a lot of compasses and now <laughs> no, it's iPads. Just the whole ship with the iPads. With GPS. Yeah, we can go in there, bud. A little easier with these stairs. So we knew we have this on us. Yeah. So this is launching this. Where do you begin? Just turn and pray. What do you? <laughs> I don't know if you're supposed to be messing with it. I know, okay. Finishing up, we're pretty much done, I guess. I think just the uh, restaurant and the gift store. Yeah. If you guys do do this, we recommend grabbing this. Gives you a guided audio tour along the way as you go throughout the whole museum. So anything you want more information on, you just hold this little bad boy up to it and it tells you more about it. So it's kind of cool. If you're a kid like me, there's a green one. Yeah, there's a green for kids and there's a, a different one for adults. So. Helps give you a lot of information and then you don't have to follow a guide around, but there's all kinds of guides around here to uh, answer any questions you have along the way too. Stopped to get a little coffee break. 
Yes. After our tour, Chrissy's double checking. Maybe double checking? <laughs> Chrissy's double checking the map. Miss anything? Because there is a lot to take in here. If you guys ever come check this out, it's yeah. really cool. But there is a lot to take in. One turn, and you end up on a different part of the ship. We were saying how crazy it is that people work on these functioning ships and are able to know where they're going and end up in the right spot where they're supposed to be because I feel like I would get lost in two seconds and we kind of no. did but luckily there were signs in this one. That's what he was saying that they were made of wood so when they would get hit they would catch on fire. Oh, now yeah. they're all made of metal. So that's what they are now. It's nuts. Mason gets the souvenir pennies everywhere we go. He's got a pretty big collection. So I think he's going to get, which one are you getting bud? That one. That one. Okay. That is a good choice. I didn't pick that one or that one. That was my choice. But... All right. Use your muscles. I can't do this one. There it is. See it. Is it the right one? There it is. Souvenir penny. There it is. Much deserved food. We haven't eaten since our continental breakfast, but we're in the gas lamp. Is that what? Yeah. Mason. Downtown San Diego. Downtown San Diego. We got cheeseburgers over there and some flatbread. There you go. Finishing off vacation the right way. We got to pick what cookie we wanted, what ice cream we wanted, what topping we wanted. Some of us rode bikes here, so burning some calories. Some wait, of us. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I didn't say you. Okay. I rode the scooter. <laughs> I might have to trade you on the way back. I'll ride the bike. Is it yum? We're flying out. Messy, yeah. There's spoons inside. Back to the hotel for the last night, and Jack's got the games going. Back to our setup. That's cool. Mason, you got a couple of souvenirs. Well, that's not a souvenir. Well, now. So I got from the USS Midway. I got a baseball. Mhm. Mm so as you guys, if you've been following us for a while, you know he collects baseballs. Let's see if I can get to focus here. There it is. So that's the ship that we were on today. American flag. It's very There's cool. Logo. So you can add that to your collection. Yeah. And then and got downtown, where we were sock. eating lunch today, went to a sock store. And so Mason... it's socks that turn into a ball. So this one's a baseball. Don't have scissors. But that's another souvenir he got. Good trip? Yeah. Good. All right, guys. It is Friday night. We're watching some NCAA March Madness. We're probably going to just chill at the hotel call tonight. We're not going to set the alarm to get up early but we will be getting up early. We will be getting up early tomorrow to drive home, unfortunately. We ended the night swimming and in the jacuzzi. Very relaxing. It was a great vacation. Sad it's over. Much needed vacation too, right? Yes, it was awesome. Just to like... That is why his eyes are red too. Rest and relaxation. Yeah, we went we, swimming. We ran around, we did a lot, so. Good vacation, Mr. Mason? Yeah. Yeah, you tired? It's been a long couple of days, huh? As always, thanks for watching. We will see you next time. Next time. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, comment in the comment section, and to check the eye in the sky for more super go adventures and last year go adventures. And to check out next time's adventure.